Today's security review is about the rapper Boosie Badass. Now, the reason for this review is because about a month ago, Little Boosie was pulled over for speeding on his way to an Atlanta airport when the police smelled marijuana in the car and searched it and found one of his occupants to be in possession of a firearm. If you haven't seen this video of Boosie getting pulled over by the police, let's go ahead and review it. And I'm going to come back and give it to you straight with no chaser. Boss man. What? Officer Dennis, Fair and PD, you know me. I know you, I know you. All right. You know why I pulled you over? Speeding. You know you were speeding. Okay. You got your license on you. How y'all doing today? Make sure everything's bowed. We'll go from there, okay? Who threw, who threw out the uh, marijuana? I saw it. I'm not blind. Who threw it out? I don't know. Huh? I know you couldn't have done it. However, you could do it, but it's one of these two. I'm tired of you. I can't, I can't move. I mean, you huh? come here every time I leave out. Let me record. What's your need for me? I don't want to hit you. Bravo Whiskey Golf. Uniform 679. It's going to be clock 19. The police did not take Boosie Badass's badass to jail because the state of Georgia has some liberal gun laws that allow its citizens to carry loaded firearms in public without a license. Nonetheless, this video has some serious issues that we need to talk about from a security standpoint. Number one, if you're going to be smoking weed and carrying guns in your car, it's probably best that you don't speed on the highway. Number two, if you got that gun in the car, you better have a licensed concealed carry permit holder who has general liability insurance and who is certified to protect you regardless of the state's open carry gun laws. Number three, if your ass is in the wrong, you probably should be a little more humble when the police stop you and perhaps they won't give you a citation or take your ass to jail. I was a bit taken back when I first saw this video because just a few weeks ago when PNB Rock was murdered in LA, Little Boosie was one of the first people to tell rappers that they needed to hire professional protection. Bro, they, they stalking niggas, bro. Like, you know, they after all that fucking jury and shit, bro. They after that shit, bro. That's what the niggas can't even go hustle for themselves and get that shit. So they after that shit, bro. That's why you gotta, you gotta have, you gotta have heavy protection around you these days, bro. Especially when you got on that jury. It seems to me that Boosie Badass doesn't practice what he preaches because the dudes in the car seem more like his homeboys from the hood or possibly some hired goons. I have no doubt that little Boosie can take care of himself. However, when you hire professional security, it helps protect you from other people, from making stupid decisions, and from illegal searches like what just happened in this video. But I'm going to talk about that in another segment. Hey, YouTube, get me out of here.